So today we're going to show you how to uh, format a hard drive. Very simple. Uh, the, there's nothing complicated to do here. I'm going to shut her down so we don't have to do any updates here. And below this monitor is the tower itself. And I'm actually going to put in a Windows 7 CD because with Windows 7, I believe that's one where it's like you have to tap it, like you have to press a button in order for it to actually start up. So let's start up the tower. And let's go to F12, I believe it is. Most of the times it'll show you where the boot menu is. You see up top right, it says boot menu F12. So we're going to do that. And then you'll see an option that should say CD slash DVD slash CDRW drive. Um, yours might say CD-ROM. And um, as always, obviously, you can do this with a thumb drive as well if you load uh, an ISO file onto it. But this is just if you have the CD itself. This is a... Uh, you know, this was like the old school way to do it, but it still works very well. So let's click this, boot from CD, click any button, come on. Should have done something. Okay, Windows, there we go. Windows is loading files, so it's loading Windows 7. Even though 8.1 is installed on the tower it doesn't matter you can put any cd you want you can put any operating system cd you want uh in the tower so and then it'll say loading file so forth and then just let me see, hopefully this freaking um tripod holds but as you can see there's our there's our tower right there so now let's try and put this back the way that I would like it that would be fantastic Ugh. Do, 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 do. yeah this thing is time, time it's almost time for this thing this tripod to go so let's hit this uh, let's hit the flash button here And let's give it a second to load. Okay, so it seems like Windows 7 is loading from the CD-ROM drive. And then it'll show us a list of drives in here. Now there's only one drive in there, but it'll show whatever it'll show like the recovery drive and the system drive and so forth but so we're gonna hit next we're gonna hit install now and you could also do this if you say you didn't want windows 8 or 10 um and you wanted to just roll back to 7 for whatever whatever reason so come on and obviously it would move, it does move a lot quicker with the thumb drive. Except, yes, custom, advanced. Now you see there's two partitions here. And what we're gonna do, drives, we hit drive options, and then we're gonna hit format. Okay, done. So we know this is a one terabyte hard drive. Format, done. And that's it. So from there, if we really wanted to, we could install uh, Windows. Uh, we, you know, we could install Windows 10. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, Windows 7 directly on this computer. But we're not doing that. I'm just showing you how to format uh, a hard drive that's already in there. Now, there, like obviously, there's other ways to format drives uh, inside of the computer. 
um, say that aren't connected to the main C drive. And that would be all you would literally do is right click on the drive and click format and hit OK. And it's really that simple. So um, I hope this video helped you. Um, it's really this really isn't anything new. But for those of you who are, you know, kind of starting out and getting the gist of everything. Yep. Canceling the installation, you know, um, then, you know, hopefully this will be beneficial to you. But other than that, this is a very simple process. So, and now you see Dell come up, it's not going to come up with a hard drive. Yep. You see, you see at the top, it says boot M it's boot manager, boot MGR is missing. So that means that, you know, windows is not installed. All the information on it is gone. And like I said, you would really, really, really need a professional to, um, to retrieve any of these files and, but it's a real pain in the butt. So, um, I'll put a link. I'll try to find my old video where it shows you actually, there's a program that actually goes through like a military grade of erasing hard drives is pretty cool. So, but until then, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye and enjoy the random shorts that I've been putting out. <laughs> All right. See ya.